Man, are you sure? Yeah. yeah, I heard it from one of my buddies at the homeless camp. Look, I'm pretty sure I've got no right saying this. In fact, I know I don't. I can't stand by and watch Sasaki get dragged back into the Yakuza. After all, he made a decision to earn his life back. I saw him do it with my own eyes. I want to help him, however I can. <laughs> well, I figured you would, and I'm glad. <sighs> You're heading to Seriu Clan HQ, right? Count us in. <laughs> but guys... Oh, but nothing. We're with you on this. Besides, there's no guarantee they'll be willing to hash things out. After everything, you really think we'd leave you to the dogs? Mm-hmm. Uh, san Namba. You're stuck with us. <laughs> And just like that, the party's back together. Let's say we set off on another adventure. Yeah, Mr. Hero? Yeah. <laughs> well, any hero worth his salt needs a weapon to match. So, where'd you stash it? Sash what? Like you forgot. Your hero's bad. Don't tell me you tossed it out. Oh, yeah! It's, uh, well, uh... Seriously? Uh, the hell is that? Well, I, I needed to hang stuff, so... Uh, then buy a rack or something, man! That thing deserves better! Sure does. Uh, and after my little speech... <sighs> Honestly, it's a hero's bat, right? Time to go to work. Right. All right, let's roll out. Actually, can we hold on a sec? What for? <laughs> if I'm going on an adventure, then I'll need to look the part. Bringing the old suit back was a good call. I know, right? Gotta say, it's funny. The three of us kicking things off again. <laughs> what did you expect? We're in it for the long haul. If I'm being honest, I think part of me's been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> All right, it's hero time. Nanba, Adachi-san. We made names for ourselves as the heroes of Yokohama once before! Let's remind this town just what we're all about, yeah? Hell yeah! Right behind you! Yeah! I gotta say, that bat really takes me back. It was right around here you plucked that thing out of the ground, yeah? Yeah, and me and Adachi-san couldn't get it to budge. Remember how you said only the chosen hero could pull it out? <laughs> oh yeah, you were calling it a holy sword or whatever. I knew you had a childhood fantasy thing going on, but at that point I wondered, is this guy okay in the head? <laughs> and I haven't changed one bit. Ha! I will be the savior of this world! Check it out. He's doing it. Get her done, hero. Always here to save the day. <laughs> hey! You old farts done LARPing around? Then how about you give us some spending money? Hey, you won't get much from us. We're dead broke. You telling me the three of you don't have a single yen on you? I think you're feeding me some bullshit! Now fork over some cash! Not every random guy you see is loaded, you know. Hey, hero. I think I see a slime approaching. 
Ready to put that holy sword to work? <laughs> I was just thinking it's been too long. Namba, Adachi-san, you ready? Yeah! yeah! Some more fighting. Come on! Huh? Whoa! Did these guys just transform? Huh? Transform into what? Didn't he say something like that back in the day? How, once he became a hero, the bad guys would change during battle? Oh, oh yeah. Well, when it comes to fighting, you do you. Don't get delusional on us. Wait, so am I the only one? Oh well, more fun for me, I guess. Yeah. Take Have fun with this. Don't get caught. Cool. Here we open one. Let's go. Thanks. Another one in the bag. <laughs> What's that? Yo. Oh. Okay. One day, as I walked home from school with my best friend Miho, we stumbled upon a small flea market set up near our local park. As we browsed through the various stalls, we came across an old dusty bookstore tucked away in a corner. Inside, we discovered an assortment of worn out novels and manga, many of which featured tantalizing covers depicting dramatic tales of love and adventure. Our curiosity peaked we began flipping through the pages, occasionally giggling at the cheesy dialogues and poorly drawn illustrations. After spending hours lost in the worlds contained within those musty books, we decided to call it a day and head home. As we left the store, our arms loaded with new discoveries, we noticed an elderly woman sitting on a bench outside, her eyes clouded with sadness. Without hesitation, we approached her and offered our assistance. After listening to her tale of woe, how her husband had passed away years ago, leaving her alone and struggling to make ends meet, we knew we had to do something to help. We pooled our allowance money and handed her everything we'd bought at the flea market, explaining that it was a gift from us. Her eyes lit up with gratitude as she accepted our gesture, tears welling up in her eyes. As we walked away, hearts swollen with warmth and satisfaction, Miho turned to me and smiled. You know, she said, there's nothing quite like finding happiness in helping others. I nodded in agreement, feeling grateful for the bond we shared and the endless possibilities for joy and growth that lay ahead of us.